everybody. Uh, welcome to what's going to be Cav Over Mondays. <laughs> Here we are with our first installment, and uh, I think this is the first mod Cav Over I ever bought, and it's the LTL 9000, or sorry, CLT 9000 from uh, Rush Hour 109. And uh, yeah, my first mod Cav Over, other than before this, it was the uh, all I drove was the um, Overflowers K100. So anyway, we're in Broadus, picked up a load of tarped hay here. It's nicely tarped too, holy, that's a beauty. Uh, on the um, Dopker flat deck from Retro Developments. So we got Jasper's wheel pack on truck and trailer, looking pretty sharp. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Um, let's see, I think. Oh, here we go. Hello, driver. I'm really looking forward to our trip today. Let's oh, see if we can get there safely and on time. I'll do my part, and I'm sure you will do yours. Spark this puppy up, and let's roll. Start off with a little high-speed reverse there. <laughs> we should be able to just uh, turn right around in here. Got a nice wood grain on the dash in this truck. Running an engine that was uh, pretty much super common in this truck, a 3406B. So we're heading up to uh, Glasgow to Sunshine Crops. And this is kind of cool because it's a route uh, don't take too often. I could have been to Glasgow a bunch. Where's this trailer turn? Uh, not bad. Um, and it's a rush, so we can't be hanging about. Got a lot of trailer wheels there. Let's uh, see if we can lift some of them because they're not very heavy. Hopefully we can get some of those off the ground. Yeah, we got two lift axles. Perfect. Nice. We're only at 26,270, so definitely don't need all that rubber on the road. I got the, uh, I cranked the uh, graphics once again at the start of the video to see what happens with this truck when we get in uh, traffic and or cities. I'll find out. <laughs> Cities. I think uh, we're just going to go through towns in this one. And once again, that's a Driver 47 ranch back there. That was the hay pickup site. The ranch is just a little further on. <clears throat> We've done trips out of there with... Oh, boy. Uh, the Ironworks uh, low boy for sure. Done some cattle runs out of there. Get oh, look at that little right. trailer there, that little... Uh, Recon's been busy adding uh, <coughs> Frank Brazil's and other uh, one Turn tons right and now. three quarter ton trucks and uh, assorted small trailers, like uh, gooseneck trailers, to the map, the ATS expansion. Uh, that's kind of cool. I'll have to dust off my Frank Brazil truck. Man, it's been forever since I used it. I really like that one from, I can't remember if it's right lane or left lane or left lane, fast lane. That F450 I bought a while back. I got it just to do a skin for a young fella. <clears throat> Talking to you, Rudy. But, uh... That was in honor of his, mom, his mom's uh, pa unfortunate passing. Uh, yeah, poor guy. Turn left now. Let's 
So, I was watching a little video this morning. This is uh, making this on Sunday morning because I got a car club thing this afternoon on Sunday. So, getting the video done early. Where um, uh, they were talking about future SCS plans straight on. and things they want to do. And. Well, they're talking about making the driver sort of a little more interactive. You can get out of the vehicle and stuff, so that's one thing. Uh, they're also talking about, um, oh, there's all kinds of things. One of them was a standalone version of the Continue game. Straight on. Potentially a standalone version that's to the right. and then turn right. more of a uh, educational tool and driver aid turn for... Right now. For helping folks uh, learn how to drive trucks, and they're sort of it sounded like they're talking about getting in with uh, truck manufacturers on it, maybe getting them in and getting a licensing deal, and maybe helping to develop it as a simulator. And I think that's if I'm not mistaken. Did they not start out like that? Somebody may know. Another thing they, I saw another video on, they want to do seasons, but it's a really big deal apparently because I guess the way they're talking about it, it's not like what uh, uh, they do with, um, like Grimes does, where they just throw snow down on everything. They're talking about more integrated, uh, where it's specifically painted and put on all the prefabs, everything. It's it's not just this sort of blanket thing that just could slap down. <coughs> so anyway, <coughs> the thought was we may see a little Christmas package come out here, maybe the 14th or 15th of December, where they have a limited map, standalone map in ATS or ETS, that is uh, winter, just as a teaser, I guess. But we'll see if that comes to pass. And yeah, oh, there's, man, I'm telling you, these guys are all kinds of things in the works. <coughs> Excuse me, you got something in my throat. Yeah, this all forward is kind of nice. Oh, listen, uh, does this have a roof cam? Yeah. I haven't been up this road in quite a while. Continue straight on. some uh, recon equipment here on the left. <coughs> Looks so much better than all that SCS stuff out along the road. So you reckon was, there'll be all cargoes from Darkness and Sinaptoro. Boy, that looks good compared to the SCS farm equipment. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Keep to the right. Exit now. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Keep to the right. Well, look at that color. Kind of a pinky purple. Exit now. <coughs> Don't think I've seen that before. That was different. Keep to the right, and then go straight on. 
So, uh, yeah, I'll put, straight on. I'll put a link to the trailer in the video. Pretty sure it's free. <clears throat> I think it's by Ratro, and uh, I think he get it on Gumroad. Keep to the right. Or did he go and off of... Go straight on. Did they go off of Gumroad? I can't remember. Hopefully I can find a link to it. Should be able to. Continue straight on. So it's got some pretty interesting loads, some heavy ones too, that would uh, probably explain the four rear axles. You'd probably want them on a Tritum, but some 77,000 pound loads of various things. And there's uh, lots of lumber. Uh, one I caught my eye was steel trusses. Uh, there's another one, I thought it was aluminum beams or something. <clears throat> lots of like... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Like chipboard, like that particle board, and lumber and stuff. Man, I had to just get a cobweb out of my throat. to the left and then turn left turn left now so unfortunately this is <clears throat> one of those trucks that doesn't have an accurate <clears throat> tachometer Continue see the, straight on see the tack going way off the scale that's a bummer other than that, I love it. I wish they'd fix it. I wish all the guys that have bad tax would fix them. KSW. I don't know why. Like, I mean, you would think your quality control or whatever you're doing for quality control <coughs> is. It's a trucking game, for God's sake. <laughs> you know? Okay. Oh, let him go. It's uh, super important to have an accurate tachometer because it's a very important instrument in a truck. straight on almost makes a guy want to figure out how to crack these mods Continue and straight on. get in there and fix the darn thing send it back to the mod maker or say here you go like you know do it for them like if they're not going to do it like why i don't get it it's something that can be done there's a whole bunch of trucks out there that are accurate <laughs> why do we have some that aren't and just a handful and Unfortunately, it's ones I really like to drive. Because <clears throat> I've said many times, I like to drive by the... Keep to the right, <clears throat> and then turn right. The instruments on the dash of the turn truck, right not, not, not my ones down here in front of the... Like these ones down here, I use that for when I... <clears throat> excuse me, get out of the cab. <clears throat> Boy, there's that cobweb again. Keep to the right, and then go straight on. Continue straight on. <coughs> yeah, so... <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm going to have to try and get this out of there. Continue straight on. Oh, well, I'll try that. Yeah, I gotta get the, uh, I gotta check out uh, some of these uh, wontons and things. I guess I've been sort of resisting going down that path. 
the recon wants to add them everywhere, so I would uh, it'd be kind of fun to check them out and then maybe, you know, I guess do some paint jobs for them. That paint job I did for that, you know, I'm really trying to struggling with the name of the outfit because it's a long time ago and I only did the one thing with it, never even used the truck in a video or anything. It was a, I'm pretty sure it was an F450 or a 350 Super Duty. Straight on. A really nice truck, actually. Um, hmm. But I forget the mod maker. Uh, it's something lane. Right lane, left lane, fast lane. Boy, this bus is annoying. Man, he just can't get himself going. We're, we got an urgent load on here. We got lots of power and not a lot of weight, so we should be able to do something about this guy. Oh, you know what? That's that's not a 34 6 b that's a 444. Pretty sure we got a 444 Cummins in here. Let's have a look here. Oh, not good. But, all right, we're off. Don't want to go over 80 miles an hour here. Easy. And there we go. Okay. Let's get it all under control here. Continue straight on. Oh, the Speedo. It's a, oh, yeah, the Speedo's right. It's at 75 right now. I thought I had a 3406B in here, but I guess not. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I was looking at a different truck, a different uh, CLT 9000 in the profile. This is my uh, to turn right. Rush Hour 109 profile. So we got three trucks in this profile to pick from for uh, cab, over, right now. cab over Mondays. But this one, the Marmon 110. And the uh, power liner. Continue straight on. I like that cat liner always sitting there. It's kind of neat. What if Recon put that there? It's always a Cataliner. Yeah, Hell Creek uh, Road. That uh, Hell Creek Ranch of Recons and that Hell Creek thing sure went a long way. But that road back there, going off in the distance, you can see that dirt road. Uh, that's a real road in Montana Continue called straight on. Hell Creek Road. And uh, I remember way back when Montana came out, <clears throat> talking to Recon, where he, he's going, he's showing me this, this road. And look, there's a real life ranch right here. I'm going to make a ranch here. <laughs> and boy, did that ever take off. Uh, that was, uh, that was the beginning, beginning of the Hell Creek stuff. At first I was thinking, boy, Hell Creek, I don't know, what are people going to think of this? I didn't say that to Recon, of course, I just, I trust his instinct, they're good. <clears throat> but I was just thinking to myself, are people going to respond to something with Hell in the name? It's a matter. And I guess, boy, I'm, not, I'm no Puritan, but I guess I was uh, way off base there because it's gone over really good.
Oops. Yeah, those nice uh, wheels from uh, Jasper. I was trying to stay on the road here. I'm having trouble finding my lane. Get ready to turn left. <laughs> Turn left now. Uh-oh, can't see what we're doing. <coughs> <coughs> we must be going the other side of Glasgow. I got 102 to go and it showed 90 back there. Probably that, uh, must be that joint on the other side of town with the, uh, <coughs> the old, um, I guess they're potato picking machines or whatever. Or <laughs> potato picking, harvesting. Not like you can just go and pick up a potato. That's say a oh, happy cattle. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, nice having a little bit too much power and a light load. Man, it's easy driving. Just got to kind of watch your speed. Uh, yeah, because I was looking at some of those bigger loads and what I was trying to find, I was thinking I'd be able to get something into a recon site or whatever and deliver something big and heavy to one and, you know, maybe Shelby or something. And uh, with this trailer, uh, the only things I could get into uh, ATS expansion was the hay. Just kind of fingers, you know, flat deck. But uh, I'm a bit of a panic for time today so I uh, didn't change the engine power down once I uh, got and figured out what I was gonna do so we're a little overpowered now, I've got the default transmission in here I don't have uh, this truck in my current cast add-on so we're using three and a quarter gears 325 final drives Oh boy, let's stay on the road here. It's quite a thing, this. Oh shoot, I gotta get a photo. Oh, it's too late to get that. Gotta get something with this old building in the background here. Set my high views on. Okay, I think we've got a photo. It wasn't quite the one I wanted. The sun's on the wrong side of the truck, but uh, oh, I even, you know, I tried to bring it around to the right side and get that old building in the background, but it was too gloomy. So I just went with the uh, <coughs> shot from that side, totally missing the old building. <laughs> yeah, well, it's all good. <clears throat> 30 miles to go well, I hope this uh, if you guys are digging this cab over Monday idea it gets a chance to kiss me the one thing I always uh, kind of struggle with is a balance because I love cab overs, <coughs> but, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> do I, uh, you know, when do I put them in, do I do them too frequently, I'll get on a bit of a, a roll where I want to just drive cab overs, and 
then uh, it's um, I kind of ticking off the people who are into the long nose trucks and conventionals and so just by feeding it in let's just do it every Monday and give you guys some input too because I do have a lot of cab overs I should try and I wonder how many I do have um, let's think so we got this one we got <coughs> excuse me three rush hour cab overs we got the uh, GMC Astro we got the power uh, the cruise liner from Corey Watson as well uh, let's see there's something else in there hmm I'm forgetting one probably got including the overfloater K100 probably got seven or eight cab overs Oh, and I don't have that, what is it, an MH or whatever, Mac? I don't Get have that thing. Turn right. What was that one buying, anyway? Turn right now. I like the whole uh, paintings on the side of the buildings. <clears throat> That's really common in the prairies here too. I imagine, I guess, I'd, I haven't been down east in a long time. Probably popular down there too now. With local scenes. I'll find out if we have the long train mod in here. Nope. So this skin, this Flatbed Brothers skin, is up on Steam. <clears throat> it must, I must have it for uh, two cabs, because this is the, uh, is this the big cab or the medium cab? Darn. <laughs> I wonder, that might be this. Oh, I forget. <clears throat> might have to look at the end of the video here real quick. Continue straight ahead, and then turn left. This trailer uses turn the, left now. <clears throat> the default SCS lights. Or at least that's the option I selected. When I selected the lights on the trailer, there was two, two options. One was SCS lights, so I just went with that. that place up around the corner I guess it says I have 11 miles to go let's <laughs> see how quick that goes by but the uh, frames have been dead steady through there uh, 60 frames per second locked and that's with uh, my graphic settings maxed so definitely the trucks the various trucks the uh, some of them were just real hard on frames. This one's super easy on them. Look at that. Now, I had that thought before. Is that a P-80 shooting star that plane back there? Yeah, here's our turn by the potato pickers. A nice little building there. Love to have a home with Get that kind of veranda that. all around it. And sit out there in a nice summer evening. Man, that would be nice. 
I got an okay deck in the back, but it's not the same thing. Turn left now. Uh oh, some spilt her hay. Yeah, it's a potato picker. That's gonna be interesting. This is a, well, I guess that's a 53 foot trailer. That's maximum length. The uh, pin is pretty far forward on it. The, the uh, king We're pin. We're here. Kind of far well forward. Well done, driver. <laughs> that was a great trip despite the traffic and those crazy drivers. It, it makes Where the. Where did they get their licenses anyway? I'm a little tired. But after we get this load off, you want to go for a beer. Awesome. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Um, it makes the trailer handle a little long when the kingpin's that far forward. You see in the ETS trucks how far back the kingpin is. You know, it makes it a little handier in town, except for the, you know, that front corner when you're turning like this, that outside corner juts out pretty far. Now oh, you gotta watch that. What that mirror's like in this thing? Oh, they're fine. Okay. I guess we'll uh, try and do it from here. Just get ourselves over that way a little bit. Get a bit of an arc going in there so we don't have to do it all at the last second. Let's see what's on our right here. Nothing. We're good. I could have done a better arc. That should work. How oh, close to the building? Jeez. Oh. Nope. I need that ATS driver training package. shorts on there. We almost got her done. Got the, uh, if you're having problems, push the button. Yeah, look. Look at these guys galloping around there. <laughs> oh. You're not catching the other dude. I wonder if you're going to catch him. Oh, I don't think so. Man. Be funny. All right, what are we doing here? We got the brakes on, get the lights off. We did it in time. See what we get for. Well, it's okay for a load of hay in a hurry. Oh yeah, we're gonna look in the job market or the trucks and wanted to see what cab I had on here so I can tell you the right thing on the skin. But this is up on Steam, but that looks like the long cab to me, so let's just jump into the uh, truck manager real quick. See what we got in here. That's this one. Oh, if we upgraded it. Oh, okay, let's grab a different one. What do we got? Oh, it's this one. Oh, oh look at I got one with a short. What is this? Upgrade. Oh, I got one with a short cab, so it must work on both cabs. Oh, darn, I could have taken that truck. This probably has the 3406, no, 444 in that one, too. Huh. So, it works on two cabs. So, we could go to Big Sleeper, Paint. We got Alberta Heavy Haul. I've got a flatbed, brother, flatbed. Helkery K and Feed is a work in progress. Paintable Classic CLT 9000. Oh, this is something I'm working on. <clears throat> but this truck is so bad right right through here. 
that it's super hard. Like if we uh, painted that, let's paint this a darker color so you can see. See the stripes through here? They just go all over the place. It's a mess. That's why if you look at the stripes or the paint jobs I have, that's why I'm doing this with this one, by the way. Putting these stripes just going down and missing the bat area. And I don't know, I just think it looks kind of goofy. I'm, I'm not real warmed up over this thing, so I haven't done anything with it. If you want to see that on the truck, I, let me know. But uh, Alberta Heavy Haul looks great on this truck. Let's get a dark red here. So it avoids this whole area here. By That's why the stripes, why I did that, to avoid that mess. I sure wish they would fix that, because could put a ton of paint jobs on this truck, but there's uh, only so much you can do with the, the way it is. And then the other thing that's really annoying is, I wish they would fix, is the side skirts. Uh, where is that thing? Arrows? No. Rack. Exhaust. Beacon. Spoiler. No, that's on the top, isn't it? No. There's these extenders you can put on it here that look really bad. Where are they? Wings. The paint job on these things goes up and down. <laughs> and there's no template for it. So, yeah. You don't get to paint those. It's really annoying. It'd look really good. That would look sharp. If that paint job was going right off of those wings, that would look really neat. But... Yeah, they've moved on, it seems. You know, that's the only thing. They've not done any update, updates. But I'll put a link to it in anyway. So there we have it. And the trailer's kind of cool. And I believe that was a free trailer. So I'll, uh, I'll put a link to that too. And uh, catch you on the next one, guys. If you have ideas or what you want to see in this series going forward let me know if there's things i'm missing or haven't rattled off in terms of cab overs let me know that too and as always appreciate you following along take care and bye for now